prime and composite numbers. Anong difference ng prime and composite numbers? So, pag prime, yung only factors mo is 1 and the number itself. Pag composite, meron kang other factors other than the other than itself and yung 1. Okay? So, alam naman ba ng lahat kung anong difference between prime and composite? Yes. Okay. Uh, if familiarize niyo sarili niyo sa prime numbers, kahit at least itong first four, first five, okay? Kasi pag nag-prime factorization kayo, ito yung mga una niyong chinecheck, okay? So, let's move to prime factorization. What is prime factorization? Basically, sinusulat mo lang isang number as a product of its prime factors. So for example, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Yung 8 naman, yung prime factors niya is 2 times 2 times 2, which is also equal to 2 raised to 3 or 2 cubed. Another one is 15. 15 is equal to 3 times 5. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang methods. We have yung factor 3 and yung upside down division method. So, i-discuss muna natin yung factor 3. <clears throat> um, una mong gagawin dito is, di ba kaya in-emphasize ko kanina yung apat na prime factors kasi yun yung una mong i-check. So, yung, naunang, yung smallest prime factor natin is number 2. So, tatanungin mo muna, is 24 divisible by 2? Nadi-divide ba ang 24 by 2? Oo. So, ang gagawin natin is, divide natin siya by 2, we will get 2 and 12. Okay? Nakuha naman kung paano to, di ba? Okay, next we have 12. 12 is divisible by 2. So again, if we divide natin siya by 2, we will get 2 and 6. So yung 6, divisible pa ba siya by other numbers? Uh, or in other words, composite pa ba siya? Yes, divisible siya by 2 and 3. Two and three. We will get three. 2 times 3. Okay, so ang prime factors dito would be 2, 2, 2, and 3. Basically, yung numbers na wala ng, wala ng ugat. Or, wala na, or hindi mo na divide So, you will get 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? So, pagdating sa upside down division method, ganun din yung concept. So, actually, pag isang number lang, hindi mo kailangan gawin yung upside down division. Pero pinapakita ko lang, para pagdating sa GCF and LCM, um, gets you na yung con concept niya. Okay? So, similarly, ganun din. Iti-divide mo siya by a prime factor. So, ano ba? 2. Divisible to by 2, di ba? Alam na natin from the previous one. Okay, so gagawin mo lang, i-divide mo siya by 2, pero instead of yung normal na sa taas mo nilalagay yung sagot, sa baba mo ilalagay. So, 2 divided by, uh, 24 divided by 2, we will get 12. Okay? So, again, 12, it's divisible by 2, so i-divide mo siya ulit by 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So, 6 divisible siya by 2 uh, ulit, so... 6 divided by 2, we will get 3. Ang prime factors natin dito is everything na nasa left side and yung nasa pinakababa. So, makukuha natin. Ayan. Pareho lang sila, di ba? 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, either method, dapat pareho makukuha nyo. Assuming na tama yung ginagawa nyo. Answer some example. Uh, nagtanong si John Leonard, i-share ko na lang yung salat. Pwede po ba unahin 24 divided by 3? Yes. Okay? Any na prime factor. Um, personally lang for me, kapag kunwari malalaki yung numbers, tapos minsan ang intimidating, mas, ang maganda mag-start with a smaller number para lumiliit yung number, you're dealing with smaller number. Parang paliit ang paliit yung number na ginagamit ko. Pero up to you. Any number, anyone, na ipa-prime factor natin, 78. Kasi mahina ko sa arithmetic, so wag niyo akong i-judge. 78 muna, okay? 78, divisible siya by 2. We have 39, right? 39, divisible siya by, hindi siya divisible by 2. So, ano yung next number? 3. Ganun yung teknika. Kaya ko ina-emphasize yung 2, 3, 5, 7. Kasi, ganun mo siya isi-check para hindi all over the place yung utak mo. Lalo na for some na hindi natural for them gawin ito, okay? 39 divided by 3, we will get 13. 13, prime or composite? Prime na siya, okay? Good. So, bale, Tapos na tayo. Ito na yung kanyang prime factors. 78 is equal to 2 times 3 times 13. Okay, nakukuha nyo naman ito, ba? Nakaka-follow pa? 392? Ako na pala. Sobrang tita. Okay, 54 divisible by 2. We will get... 
Okay, ayan. Sinagot na ni Faith kasi siya yung pinapagawa ko kanina. 27, correct? 27 is divisible by 3. 3 and 9. So, yung 9, composite yan, guys, ha? Kaya, divisible siya by 3 and 3. So, our answer here is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, another way of presenting this or another notation is 2 times. So, since may tatlo kang 3, 3 raised to 3, okay? Ano pa example kanina? 1,024 divisible siya by 2. Okay? Anong makuha natin dito? 512. How about this one? 512 divided by 2, we will get 200... 200 what? 56. 56. Kasi pag nag... And what? Ibig sabihin naglalag yung utak ko. 256 divided by 2... 128. Guys, sa mga nag-worry na parang, ay, ang bilis naman ang arithmetic um, practice. Okay? So, ako, personally, ako naglalag pa rin ako parate. Nathan, yung tanong mo ba kung paano mabilis na de-divide? Okay, yun. Um, ako, technique ko, dine-divide. Kunwari, iniisip ko siya as parts ng whole numbers, for example. Segue lang, guys, ha, para nalang ma-share natin sa mga hindi mabilis mag-ano. Okay, 1, 2, 1,024. Iniisip ko siya as 1,000. So, kalahati niya 500. Um, walang number dito. 24. 24, kalahati ng 24 is 12. 512. Okay? So, ganun. Ganun lang, guys. Parang isipin niyo siya as... Kung mara ito, 512, 500. Anong half ng 500? 250. Half ng ito, 6. 256. Okay? So, practice lang din. Ayun, may term pala. Vedic math technique. Okay? So, i-continue natin to. 128. Divisible siya ulit by 2. We have 64. 64 is divisible by 2. We have 32. Two is divis uh, 32 is divisible by 2 ulit. 32 is 16. Nakakainis naman yung nagbigay ng example. Ano yung sagot? <laughs> 2 and 8. Tapos ito, 2 and 4. Ito, 2 and 2. Ilang 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tama ba? 2 raised to 10. Okay? Iba naman, guys. 